Describe it to Dude, me. Wor the worst part is like every day my kid falls in love with a new toy. She lets me stroke her and if she just makes it to the end of the day, she's like out of love with it. But if she loses it during the day, then like that becomes enshrined in her heart as like her favorite toy ever. Like the other day we were at the playground and she picked up a rock. A rock! And she was like bringing the rock everywhere. She was like, come on, rock, come down the slide with me. And then we got in the car to drive home and she said, Dad, can I take the rock on the, on the cruise? And I was like, well, we're, we're not on a cruise. Like, we just got off the cruise. But I was like, sure. You know, you can take the rock on, on the cruise. Then that night, I was like, do you want to take the rock in your crib? She was like, no, I want to take the ghost in my crib. It's like a different toy. So if she just makes it to the end of the day, then like the spell is broken. But if she loses it, then when we get home, she's like, she had this little toy. It was like a little Sumiko Gurashi, like boba tea thing. And we kept telling her like, be careful, be careful, don't drop it. And then like she dropped it and Kate was like, can mommy hold it? And she was like, no. And then she dropped it and she lost it. And now like twice a day, she's like, mm. I lost tapioca. I'm like, yeah, we lost tapioca, but that means we learned like to listen to mommy and daddy all the time, right? She goes, she's lost forever. It's breaking my heart, man. Hey, hey, relax. But at the same time, I'm like, well, that's why you should listen to mommy when she says, let me hold your toy for a second. I still remember when... It's Chloe! You okay? Chloe? I still remember when she brought a stick home from daycare, and it was literally just like a stick from the ground. And then she was walking up the stairs, and she tripped, and the stick broke in half, and she was like... Aah! She was so demoralized. Kate and I were like sad but also trying not to laugh because her reaction was like so disproportionate to the the trauma she experienced oh you're right it was it was like a cookie or something it wasn't a stick I can't remember inspect the body no she got the damn Oppenheimer filter the crystals cut the Christopher's curse. Chloe, I was she deserves to be sad, bro. She's a minor. When you took her so it's okay when Clive makes fun of a little kid, but when I make fun of like 14-year-old K-pop stands from Venezuela, all of a sudden I'm the bad guy. People are like, "Oh, you're 34. You're 34." 